Hi everyone, welcome to MSCR Makes. I'm Miss Julia, and today I have something different for you. Instead of a normal project, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite black artists. As you may have noticed, on June 4th, we didn't put up an MSCR Makes video. That's because MSCR had a very important message we wanted to share with the community. Today, I'm going to be sharing another special message with you about voices and representation in art. So I'll go ahead and put up some pictures on the screen and talk about some of my favorite black artists and why their work is important, not only in the art community, but also for everyone. I hope you enjoy getting to see some cool new artists. Kahinde Wiley. We're going to start with a painting you might have already seen. It's Kahinde Wiley's official presidential portrait of President Barack Obama, painted in 2018. This painting is important because it is the first time a Black artist has painted the official presidential portrait. Amy Sherald, another Black artist, painted the official portrait of First Lady Michelle Obama. I'll link her website below. Kehinde Wiley is one of my favorite artists because he uses his paintings to reimagine or think about the history of portraiture in a different way. Portraits are fancy paintings of people. In the past, before cameras, rich people would pay an artist to paint their portrait as a way to show how important and fancy they were. This means that most portraits you see in museums are paintings of white people. Kehinde Wiley uses the same style of art such as small details and bright, rich, vibrant colors, but paints black people in his paintings. When I see one of his paintings, I really like that he shows black people as being important and fancy too. This is a point of view or a voice we don't often get to see in museums. It's really cool to be able to see lots of different people as being fancy and important. Kara Walker. The next artist I want to show you is Kara Walker. Kara Walker is one of my favorite artists. The artwork I am showing you is one piece from a group she called the Emancipation Approximation. Do you notice how the figures are just outlines or shapes of people, but the use of black and white colors makes you think of their skin? The title or name of this work is also important. Approximation means not really or not quite right. Kara Walker uses her artwork to examine or look at the history of black people in the U.S. Her work often shows the more difficult or uncomfortable parts of America's past and how things that should be fair can be an approximation or not really fair. Do you think both people in this artwork are being treated fairly? I think Kara Walker's work is very powerful and gives a voice to people history often overlooks or forgets to listen to. Carrie Mae Weems Carrie Mae Weems is another Black artist I really like. The work you see on screen is from a group of photos she called the Kitchen Table series. This group of photos looks at the everyday things that can happen around a kitchen table. Carrie Mae Weems uses her art and voice to display or show off the small parts of Black life she thinks are important, that other people might not know about, and are often not written down in history books. This makes her art an important way to learn about how everyone has a rich inner life or special things they do that other people might not know about. What might you take a picture of if you wanted to show other people something special about you? I'll also link a video below about a performance or artwork that is acted out she did more recently. Although it was made four years ago, it looks at some of the issues we are facing today. Please remember to ask your grown-up before going to watch other videos online. Jillian Dreyer Some of you might know the next artist I am going to talk about. Jillian Dreyer has worked for MSCR as an art teacher and at camp. You might know her as Miss Jillian. She is also a working artist. That means her job is doing art, which is really cool. The painting on the screen is called Obtaining Yellow. I like how the focus or important thing in this painting is the person. 
The flowers on their head also look like a crown, and crowns make the person wearing them look important and powerful. I really like Jillian Dreyer's artwork, and I also think it's important to see lots of different people in every sort of job. Being an artist is hard, and a lot of Black artists are not featured or talked about often in the art community. When you don't see people who look like you in a job, it can be hard to imagine yourself doing that job. This is why role models like Jillian Dreyer are important. It helps people see that a job like being an artist is for everyone. State Street, Madison, Wisconsin. The last thing I wanted to show you is some very new artwork local Madison artists have done down on State Street. I'll link the website for this artist below. I think this work is important because it's made by people who live in Madison and are using art to share their voice or how they feel with the city they live in and other people. Black artists are often not the main artists or artwork in a museum, but it's important for everyone to know their art and voice are seen and listened to. And it feels good to see people that look like yourself in art so you can feel included or part of the group. That's why I like to look and listen for the art and voices of Black artists, and I think you should too. Thanks for joining me today and learning with me about some of my favorite Black artists and the importance that their work has. I hope you enjoyed learning about some new voices in the art community and why different voices are important. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!